Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice algebra problem. And here we have square root of n plus minus n square root equals to 4. And we will solve this problem for the values of n. So this is the nice radical problem. And we will solve uh, in today's session uh, this nice radical problem. So here we have... Uh, the very first thing we are going to do is here first we will move this minus n square root to the right hand side and we will obtain here square root of n equals to 4 minus square root of minus n and after this step we will take the square on both of the sides and you will obtain square root of n square equals to 4 minus square root of minus n and its whole square after this step we will use here the nice square identity and you know about this identity if we have a minus b whole square it is equals to a squared minus 2 times of a b and plus b square so now we will use this nice square identity and we will get the output of the above term in the form of because in the left hand side you see here these two and square root are gone and we get n equals to here we open this formula and you see here the value of a is 4 and the value of b is minus n square root so now we can put the values of a and b here and you will get uh, n equals to 4 squared minus 2 times of a is 4 and b is square root of minus n and plus b square and the value of b is minus n and its whole square. So in the next step we have n equals to 4 square and 4 square equals to 16 minus 2 for the 8 times of minus n square root and when you can open this uh, cancel this 2 and square root then you will get here minus n so in the left hand side in the next step we move all the terms other than radical sign to the left hand side so uh, you will get here n this is the plus 16 when we move in the left hand side it will becomes minus 16 and this is minus n when moving the left hand side it is become plus n and this whole equals to minus 8 times of minus n and in the next step uh, we will make some more simplifications here and now we add the like terms and you see that so after adding like terms we will get its output here n plus n equals to 2 times of n minus 16 equals to minus 8 times of minus n square root and here you focus on both of the sides and you see that we have to be the common term on both of the sides so that we will divide both of the sides by 2 and you will get its output here 2n over 2 minus 16 over 2 equals to minus 8 times of minus n square root over 2 and now uh, you see here uh, we have these two are gone and we get n minus here this 2 8 is a 16 and we get 8 and in the right hand side we have 2 4 is a 8 and we get minus 4 times of minus n square root and uh, in the next step we will again take the square root on uh, take the square on both of the sides in this form and we will get its output here and now we again use this nice formula and we will obtain its output here n squared minus uh, 2 times of n into 8 plus 8 square equals to here we have minus 4 square and minus 4 square equals to 16 and the square of minus n square root equals to minus n and in the next step we will get here n squared minus 16 n 
plus we have 8 square equals to 64 and this is whole equals to minus 16 times of n so uh, you will see here this minus 16 times of n is cancelled by this minus 16 times of n and we will obtain here n squared plus 64 equals to 0 and in the next step we will simplify this uh, uh, term here and we move the 64 in the right hand side and you will get here n squared equals to minus 64 and now in order to find the value of n we will take the uh, square root on both of the sides so you will get here square root of n equals to square root of minus 64 and here you obtain n equals to uh, here we break the square root and we can write the square root of 64 into square root of uh, minus uh, 1 and you will obtain its output here n equals to square root of 64 will becomes 8 and the square root of uh, minus 1 equals to iota and here I can write the plus minus sign because we will take the square on both of the sides so these are the uh, two roots of the given problem and this is the, our final answer of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos